بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد I begin in the name of Allah and I praise Allah and I send salat and salam upon the messenger of Allah and upon his family and his companions what follows Inshallah this is a vocabulary list for lesson 13 Inshallah, so we're just going to go through it quickly. So the first word that we start with is Hatha, and it means this is masculine singular. Hatha, this is masculine singular. Hatha, Hadihi, Hadihi is the feminine of Hatha, right? So it means this is feminine singular. This is feminine singular. Hadani and Hadaini Hadani and Hadaini Hadani Hadaini These two are masculine dual, right? So we said two already, but they are masculine, right? And the Hadani is marfu' bi alif, Hadaini is majroor and mansub bi ya, okay? Because they are more Rabban. These two are Mabni. Hada and Hadihi. Hatani, Hataini. Hatani, Hataini. Hatani, Hataini. These two are feminine plural. Okay, again, these are. This is Marfu bi Alif. Marfu bi Alif. Majur and Mansu bi Ya. And then we have Haulai. Haulai means these are, these are. Then we have the other category. This is for Karib. These in this section here are for Karib. The others are for Baid that we're going to do now. Thalika. It means that. Thalika. Thalika. That is masculine singular. That is masculine singular. Tilka. Tilka. Tilka is that is feminine singular this is the opposite of thalika it is feminine singular tilka tilka that is feminine singular then we have the dual thanika and thainika thanika and thainika thanika thainika thanika is marfur bi alif majrur and mansub bi ya thalika and tilka are Mabni, Mabniya. This is the meaning is those two are masculine dual. Those two, this is dual for the masculine. This is we are going to bring up the feminine. Tanika, Tanika and Tainika. Tanika, Tainika, Tanika, Tainika. Those two are Feminine dual. Those two are, and it is feminine, and it is dual. Those two are feminine dual. So these two are ma'rab. They are marfu'a bi alif and majrur and mansub bi ya. Just like these marfu'a bi alif, majrur and mansub bi ya. Because they are musanna. The musanna. That's how the irab is done, right? It is not with dhamma and fatan and kasra. Ulaika is for masculine, and ulaika is for feminine. Right, like how ulai, ulaika. It means those are. Ulaika means those are, and it is mabni. Fil aldi, fil aldi. Notice this is majrur the kasra because it has a, a half al jar in front of it. Fil aldi means in the earth, in the earth. La means no or not. La, no or not. Inna, inna means indeed. Inna means Indeed, tathkiratun, tathkiratun means tathkiratun is a reminder, a reminder. Inna hadhi tathkira, indeed, this hadhi, this is a tathkira, right? It is a reminder. Sha'a, 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 by itself it means he willed. Ma sha'a Allah means what Allah willed. Khayrun, khayrun, khayrun can mean best, uh, it can mean good, 
Something is khur, I'm a bit khair, I'm in good, I'm okay. Khairun can mean best, that can mean best, it can mean good also. Alladhi, alladhi, who, right? Alladhi, who, or that, that, or which. Al-yatim, al-yatimu, the orphan. Al-yatimu, al-yatimu. Ad-daru, ad-daru. Ad-daru can mean a ha- the house or the abode. Ad-daru al-akhiratu, ad-daru al-akhiratu. Al-akhiratu means the hereafter. So ad-daru al-akhira is the abode of the hereafter. La yakuluna, la yakuluna. La is for emphasis. It is not harful jar because it cannot enter the harful jar. The harful jar does not enter upon the fi'al al-mudari. Right? So what happens here is that it is la for emphasis. Right? La yakuluna means la means surely. Yakuluna they say. Surely they say or they will say. La dalun. La dalun. Same thing here. Right? The lam here is not harful jar. The lam here. Is not harful jar. Is not harful jar. The lamb here is for emphasis because if it was harful jar, then dalun would change to dalin because for the for the jama muzakkir salim, the wow changes to ya if it is majroor or mansub. La dalun therefore is surely the ones who stray. Surely the ones who stray. Dalun is the ones who stray. Surely the ones who stray. Lafi, lafi. Lamb here again is for emphasis, and I'm just bringing these examples to show you that lamb can be used in a different way. La fi, la fi. Now it enters upon the half of jar. Here it enters upon the verb. Here it enters upon a noun. Here it enters upon a half, and it's all okay, inshallah. The half of jar can only enter upon the ism, right? Here, the lamb here, and so we know it's a different lamb. It enters upon the fi'al. Upon the ism, upon the harf, right? La fi, la fi means surely in. La fi, surely in. In al abrara, la fi naim. Indeed, the, the pious and the righteous are definitely in naim. Asma ul isharati, asma ul isharati, asma ul isharati means demonstrative pronouns. The demonstrative pronouns. Might be a better translation. The demonstrative pronouns. Asma ul isharati lil baid. Asma ul isharati lil baid. Asma ul isharati lil baid. Demonstrative pronouns indicating something far off. Asma ul isharati lil qarib. Asma ul isharati lil qarib. Demonstrative pronouns for something close. Al muraqab al naqisu. Al muraqab. Al-Naqisu, Al-Muraqqab Al-Naqisu It is translated as a, as a phrase But Muraqqab means a construction That is Naqis, that is deficient right? And a phrase is a construction that is deficient, deficient Because it does not have a complete beneficial meaning It, is, it, it does not have uh, You cannot understand anything clearly from it It is deficient right? So it's Al-Muraqqab Al-Naqis It is a phrase Which is a deficient construction of two words coming together they don't give a meaning jumlatun ghayru mufidatin jumlatun ghayru mufidatin jumlatun ghayru mufidatin jumla means a sentence that is without benefit and that's again can be translated as the phrase right so it's a it's an incomplete sentence mufida means benefit ghayru means without benefit Ghayru means without benefit. So it's a jumla without benefit. So it looks like a jumla because it has two words, but it is not a jumla. It is without benefit. And this, in Arabic, um, a sentence can be made up of two words, as we said, right? Al Muraqqab al Ishari. Al Muraqqab al Ishari. The demonstrative phrase. The demonstrative phrase. This is because it is made up of two words without any. Concrete meaning without any conclusive meaning. Al Muraqqab al Tawsifi. Al Muraqqab al Tawsifi. This is the adjectival or the descriptive phrase. The descriptive or adjectival phrase. Right? So, like the boy is the tall boy, 
That is not a complete sentence. That is called al muraqqab al tawsifi Right? Tawsifi comes from wasafa. Wasf. It is a wasf the description. al muraqqab al idafi al muraqqab al muraqqab al idafi This is the possessive phrase. The phrase that come two words come together, where one two nouns come together, and all of these are nouns come to get, coming together, right? All of these phrases, right? They are nouns, two nouns coming together. Okay, they are two nouns coming together. Our al murakkab al idafi are two nouns coming coming together. One is possessing the other, right? One is annexed to the other in a case like possession, like possessing. Okay, so inshallah, I think that is clear. Let us move on. Um, al jumlatul ismiya These are examples for the al muraqqabul ishari And if the the khabar, the predicate, takes the alif and lam, is in the third category here, right? I didn't know how to describe it. Thalika kitabun. Thalika kitabun means that is a book. That is a book. So that is, and kitabun means a book. Thalika indicates is. Right? So that is a book. If we want to make it al ishari, all we have to do here is to add alif and lam. So it becomes ذلك الكتاب. The tenmin drops, right? ذلك الكتاب. It becomes that book. That book. Okay? ذلك الكتاب is the that book. Now that is important to pay attention to because here it is a phrase. It's al muraqqab al ishari. That's the phrase that we just described, right? One category of phrase. That if we want to make this a sentence by maintaining the alif and lam, right? Then we have to put a suitable damir, a suitable pronoun inside. ذلك هو الكتاب. That is the book. In this case, ذلك كتاب is that is a book. Here it is that is the book. Okay? Because both of these are complete statements. ذلك كتاب and ذلك هو الكتاب. The meaning is different. ذلك الكتاب is not a complete statement. It's called مراقب الشعري and it means that book. هذا بلد هذا بلد means this is a city. This is a city. Right? المراقب الشعري would be the alif and lam added in front of the بلد so it would be هذا البلد هذا البلد means this city. This city. If we want to keep this construction but make it into a, into a sentence, we add a suitable pronoun. هذا هو البلد هذا هو البلد This is the city. This is the city. Now notice, regardless of what, the is is understood. Right? For the singular. And for the plural, the, 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 um, the R would be there. تلك بنتن تلك بنتن means that is a girl. That is a girl. تلك بنتن If you wanted to make it المراقب الشعري, it becomes تلك البنتو Tilkal bintu means that girl. Tilkal bintu means that girl. If we want to make it a sentence with al bintu, maintaining the alif and lam, we say tilka hi al bintu. Tilka hi al bintu. That is the girl. Because the hi here is munasib because this is feminine. Bint is feminine singular. Tilka is feminine singular. The munasib, the suitable pronoun, has to be feminine singular, and that is here. Okay? ذلك قلم ذلك قلم means that is a pen that is a pen if you want to make it that pen we say ذلك القلم ذلك القلم that pen if you want to make it a sentence with the قلم القلم maintaining its alif and lam we say ذلك هو القلم ذلك هو القلم that is the pen that is the pen تلك آيات تلك آيات Tilka ayatun means those are signs. Ayat. Those are signs. Now, there's another issue that I want you to pay attention to here, and that is tilka is singular. Ayat is plural. But why is it singular? Because we said if anything is ghayr aqil, it, it, it does not have intellect, then whatever is used to connect to it, be it a pronoun or an ismul shara, whatever it is, right? It is, <clears throat> it is singular and it is feminine, right? But it is still transfer, translated as those. Those are ayats. Okay. So if I want to make it <clears throat> a muraqqab al-ishari, I say, tilkal ayatu. Tilkal ayatu. 
those signs those signs tilka hiya ayatu notice hiya is munasib because it is ghayr aqil it is suitable because it is ghayr aqil the ghayr aqil take the feminine singular those are the signs those are the signs <clears throat> the final example haulai kaumun haulai kaumun these are a people these are a people uh, these are a people right haulai al kaum if you uh, if you want to make it with the alif and lam into al muraqab al shari it becomes haulai al kaum right these people and if you want the alif and lam and make it into a a a sentence a proper sentence with this construction here we say haulai hum al kaum haulai hum al kaum because this is plural haulai is plural so hum has to follow right so those are the people so we close here and we hope allah benefits us with and hope this is what be a good a good revision may allah bless all of us and guide us subhanakallahumma bihamdika shallallahu la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh